Hi, I'm Elizabeth Esty, Congresswoman for Connecticut's 5th District. Tonight, President Obama will deliver his State of the Union Address, where he'll discuss his priorities for Congress and for our country this year. Tonight, it's one speech. But tonight's not just about what President Obama says or doesn't say. It's about our collective efforts as a nation to refocus the conversation and our priorities for the year ahead. Yes, President Obama will talk tonight about the serious challenges currently facing our country. But he'll also focus on opportunities, opportunities that are important for us here in Connecticut. My focus has been and will continue to be on bringing these opportunities, these bipartisan, common sense ways to grow our economy and create good paying middle class jobs right here to our state. Advanced manufacturing and biomedical technology are at the core of Connecticut's economy and of its economic potential. I'm optimistic about our efforts to better prepare our workforce for the jobs of the future. I'm working hard to ensure our teachers have the resources that they need to inspire and educate our children in the critical STEM fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. And I'm excited by partnerships in our local communities among manufacturers, small businesses, community colleges, and high schools, all of which are working to help better align what's taught to what's needed for jobs in the 21st century. Tonight, I expect President Obama to highlight practical proposals to boost economic growth in America. Here in Connecticut, I'm working to boost investment in our state's roads, railroads, and waterways to keep our economy growing. We all know it, our aging infrastructure, too much traffic on our roads, and recent service delays and life-threatening accidents on Metro North railroads hurt our state's economy. I'm seeking opportunities to invest in transportation projects that will create good paying jobs right here in Connecticut. Tonight, I also expect President Obama to discuss ways to better help job seekers find work and ensure the economic security working families deserve. That means raising the federal minimum wage and extending emergency unemployment insurance. That means comprehensive immigration reform. And that means protecting the Social Security and Medicare benefits that folks have earned after a lifetime of hard work, which are critical for retirement security. President Obama most likely will also discuss the Affordable Care Act. Yes, this law needs improvement, and I'm working to make sure it works well for folks in my district. But I'm excited by the progress the law is making towards the goal of quality, affordable health care for all Americans. The Affordable Care Act gives folks flexibility and options to ensure continued health insurance coverage so that they can start their own small business. It ensures that no one can be denied coverage just because they have a pre-existing condition. And it prohibits insurance companies from charging higher rates simply because of where someone works. Health care security is a critical component to supporting middle class families and growing our economy. Finally, I'll be looking for my colleagues to rise to the call for common sense gun violence prevention reform and support for mental health services. I applaud the president making common sense gun violence prevention reforms with executive actions. It's simply shameful that Congress has not acted and that some in the Senate blocked enhanced criminal background checks despite the support of a bipartisan majority despite the overwhelming support of the American people. I expect the president tonight to renew his call, challenging Congress to act so that our families and our communities are safer and stronger. Connecticut and our nation have a bright future ahead with great potential for growing jobs as we grow our economy and opportunities to strengthen and empower America's middle class. I'm looking forward to tonight's State of the Union and encourage you all to tune in. Thank you.